Welcome back everyone. In this topic, we are talking about data lakes fundamentals. Sometime back, I posted a video about data warehousing, the overview of data warehouse and its fundamentals. Just want to quick recap about data warehouse before we talk about data lakes in detail. Data warehouse is a repository of data used for analysis and reporting. A data warehouse is a central repository for information that can be analyzed to make more informed decision. Data flows into data warehouse from transactional systems and from other source systems. Typically on a regular cadence, you know, business analysts, data engineers, data scientists, decision makers access the data through the business intelligence platform like Power BI, Tableau, and stuff like that. Data and analytics have become indispensable to businesses to stay competitive. Business users rely on reports, dashboards, and analytic tools to extract insights from their data. Data Warehouse typically is a huge database used for reporting and data analysis. That's the definition that I shared in data warehouse fundamentals. This is the architecture. Data warehouse architecture is made up of tiers. If you look at it, operational source system, integration area, within integration area, you have operational data store, which is persistent and non-persistent staging area, then data flows into data warehouse. From there, by leveraging the BA tools like Tableau, Power BI, we consume the data and present the data in a dashboard. The bottom tier of this architecture is database server in the data warehouse, where data is loaded and stored. The data is stored in two different ways. The data is accessed frequently stored in a very fast storage, right? And, and also you could, you know, uh, keep it in, in an infrequently accessed environment. The data warehouse is automatically make sure that frequently accessed data is moved to the fast storage. So query speed is optimized based on the, the usage pattern. So this is the architecture that we shared. Now it's time to discuss the industry has changed. Technology evolved to a greater extent. Now let's discuss about the next version of data warehouse. We, we call that as data lake. What is a data lake? A data lake allows you to store all structured and unstructured data in one centralized repository and at any scale. With the data lake, you can store your data as is without having to first structure the data based on potential questions that you may have in the future. Like in data warehouse architecture, you know, we kept it in a relational format, very structured. Here it is completely unstructured. Also, you could keep structured data as well. Data lakes also allow you to run different types of analytics on your data like SQL queries, big data analytics, full text search, real-time analytics, and machine learning for making better strategic decisions. Let's take a quick comparison between data lake and data warehouse. I, I'm taking like four, six different characteristics, data schema based, uh, what is the price between these two, data quality, and also users and analytics. So depending on the requirements, a typical organization will require both a data warehouse and a data lake as they serve different needs and use cases. Data lake is not going to eliminate data warehouse, just want to make it very clear. It uses different purposes and business cases. Yet data warehouse is a database optimized to analyze relational data coming from transactional system, system and the line of business applications. The data structure and schema are defined in advance to optimize for faster SQL queries where the results are typically used for operational reporting and analysis. 
data is cleaned, enriched, and transformed so it can act as a single source of truth that users can trust. Whereas the data lake is different. Because it stores relational data from line of business applications and non-relational data from mobile application, websites, IoT devices, and social media, the structure of the data or schema is not defined when data is captured. This means you can store all of your data without careful design or the need to know what questions you might need answers for that in future. Different types of analytics on your data like SQL queries, big data analytics, full text search, um, real-time analytics and machine learning can be used to uncover the insights. As organizations with the data warehouses see the benefits of data lakes, they are evolving their data warehouse to include data lakes and enable diverse querying capabilities, data science use cases, advanced capabilities for discovering new information model. So this is a very fundamental comparison chart. And look at the price point, the price and performance. Data warehouse leverages, you know, higher cost storage because this is designed for faster query results. In data lakes, the query results getting faster using low-cost storage. Data quality characteristics. In data warehouse, it is highly curated data, whereas in data lake, they are not, may not be. If you use the raw data as is. Hence, the users in data warehouse or business analytics, whereas in data lakes, you need data scientists data developers and business analysts. Let's take a key components of data lakes. The key component of a data lake, data ingestion, data storage, metadata management, data processing and analysis. In data ingestion, data lakes support the ingestion of various data sources, including databases, log files, social media feeds, sensor data, IoT devices data, mobile data, and many more. This flexibility allows organization to capture data from diverse channels and systems without the constraint of predefined schemas. The next one is data storage. Data lakes store data in a distributed and a scalable manner, typically utilizing distributed file systems like Hadoop, distributed file system like HDFS, or cloud-based object storage solutions. This architecture enables efficient storage of massive volume of data while providing high availability and fault tolerance. The third one is metadata management. Metadata plays a crucial role in data lakes as it provides context and structure to the raw data. Metadata management involves capturing and organizing metadata such as data descriptions, data lineage, data quality, and data transformation rules. This enables effective data discovery data governance and ensures data reliability and consistency. The last one is data processing analysis. Data lakes offer a range of processing options to derive meaningful insights from the stored data. This includes batch processing with tools like Apache Spark A or Apache Hadoop stream processing platforms like uh, Kafka and machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch for the advanced analytics. So what are all the benefits of data lakes? Scalability, flexibility, cost effectiveness, agility, and insights. If you look at the scalability, data lakes provide virtually unlimited scalability 
allowing organizations to handle massive data volumes without worrying about storage constraints. This scalability ensures future proofing and enables businesses to grow their data infrastructure as their data needs evolve. The second one is flexibility. Data lakes offer flexibility in terms of data types and formats. Organizations can store structured, semi-structured, unstructured data in its raw form, no curation required providing the freedom to explore and analyze data in various ways. This adaptability is particularly useful when dealing with diverse data sources and when data's intended use is unknown in advance. Third one is cost effectiveness. Data lakes leverage cost-efficient storage options such as cloud-based object storage, which eliminates the need for expensive infrastructure investments. Additionally, data lakes enable organizations to store data in its raw form, reducing the cost associated with data transformation and pre-processing. And finally, the agility and insights. By eliminating the need for upfront data structuring, data lakes facilitate agile data exploration and analysis. Data scientists and analysts can access and experiment with data immediately, enabling faster insights and faster decision-making process. So what are the best practices for data lake implementation? Number one, data governance. Establish a robust data governance practices to ensure data quality, security, and compliance. Implement data cataloging, access control, and data lineage tracking mechanism to maintain data integrity and accountability. The second one is metadata management. Invest in metadata management tools and practices to provide a comprehensive context and documentation for the data within the lake. This ensures data discoverability, improves collaboration, and enhances data lineage tracking. Third one is data security. Implement strong security measures to protect sensitive data within data lake. This includes encryption, access control, monitoring mechanism to detect and prevent unauthorized access or data breaches. Fourth one is data ingestion. Ensure seamless integration with various data sources and systems by leveraging technologies like data pipelines, connectors, and APIs. This enables efficient data ingestion and eliminates silos. Data lake architecture. Design a scalable and fault-tolerant data lake architecture that aligns with your organization business requirements. Consider factors such as storage options, data partitioning strategies, and disaster recovery mechanisms. Coming to the conclusion, data lakes have revolutionized the way of organizations store the data, manage, and analyze the data. By providing a scalable, flexible, and cost-effective infrastructure, data lakes enable business businesses to harness the full potential of their data assets. However, a successful implementation requires careful consideration of data governance, security, and architecture. By adhering to best practices and leveraging the power of data lakes, organizations can unlock valuable insights and gain a competitive edge in the data-driven landscape for any organization. I hope you enjoy this video. It's a very thoughtful lesson that I plotted out about data lakes implementation and overview of data lakes. If you do have more questions about data lakes implementation, feel free to call us at 1-855-CLOUD34DB or email us at contact us at rctech.org. If you like this video, please share with your friends, like the video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.